That's good. The other one I, I like to use is, is a quick build. So uh, using the, uh, the cube that uh, uh, Randy brought, uh, that we were looking at last night, I uh, have students uh, build a, uh, a shape. Well, what I'll do is I'll make a shape. Um, I might make something of this sort. And then I'll hold that up, and, I, and they've got cubes. I say, I'd like to make one just like this. And now you've got an opportunity, as Gene and I were talking earlier, to really get at three-dimensional symmetry, symmetry in three dimensions. Because there will be people who, instead of, of, of making it like this, will, this is sort of a, you could say a right-handed, they, they might make the, the, the left-hand one, the, uh, the uh, isometric uh, component. And then there's an opportunity to talk about that symmetry, there's a plane down through here one, and so, and then have them compare with each other. And again, it, it's a building more three-dimensional imagery. Then, uh, next step is I show them a drawing of one of these, which is more difficult to interpret, two-dimensional drawing. <coughs> uh, and there are examples uh, in what's uh, in coming to a number that you can use for, the, for this one. So you're really building that more three-dimensional uh, imagery uh, with Do you let them continue to look at that? Yeah. Show it to them, so you just put it out there. And no, I, I keep, I, I keep, show. yeah, this one is continuous. I, okay. no. But there's a, a <coughs> three or four other variations of this that are discussed uh, in coming out. Because one is you build it out of sight and you, have, you can just tactfully feel it. You have to then, based on your feeling, not having seen it, put it aside and then build it with your cues. That's, uh, again, getting at another uh, century uh, uh, avenue.